Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to fix all stuttering and whatever you're doing on your PC. Um, this happens a lot when you actually have a high-end PC, but you still get stuttering anyways. It's not because your PC is bad. Um, Windows is just being stupid, and we're going to fix it right now. So what you're going to want to do is go to your file explorer, wherever that is. You're going to want to go down to where your boot drive is. When you're in your on your boot drive, go to Windows. Go down until you see System32 right here. And you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you find, starts with a G, right here, Game Bar Presence Writer. Uh, for me, it says Game Bar uh, Presence Writer 2 because I already did this a while back. But it should say just Game Bar, uh, Game Bar Presence Writer. So you're going to want to right click on it and go to properties and sorry, did that wrong properties and we won't, we won't need this until the end. So, um, let's talk about this for a bit. Um, so this is the reason for why your games are lagging. Um, this actually it has a startup on the computer every time you run a game for some reason and it causes stuttering because it tries to ask for a lot of packets at the same time that your game's also trying to ask for packets. And so your computer tends to slow down whether you have a high-end PC or not. And so uh, in order to first uh, fix it, we're going to want to go to security, go to advanced. And I already did this tutorial uh, just to remind you. So a lot of this is going to look different for you guys, but I'm going to do it the exact same way. Go to change. Here, you're going to want to put the name of the administrator in your on your computer. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you can go to here, your Windows, and go to where it says Change Account Settings, and it will show you uh, when, you, when the screen pops up under your settings. So, uh, if you actually logged in uh, using your Microsoft account or like your email, you can also use that account too. Uh, just type in your email here and then click Check Names. And then click OK. And it should put you as the owner. And so basically, uh, you're going to want to uh, click Apply, OK, and get out of there. And we're going to do it again, Advanced. But this time, you're going to want to add select a principal, add your name again, check your name, and then OK. Once you did that, uh, click check uh, full control. Uh, it's weird because as an administrator, you don't actually have full control of everything. But in this case, we're going to give it to ourselves. So once you check it, you look OK. And click on any pop-ups that you get. Click yes. It's all safe because it's your own computer. You're not downloading anything. Um, and so once you did that, you should pop up as the bottom uh, principle, at the bottom of the permission entries. And when you have that, you want to click Apply, and then OK. And we're going to do the final step, which is changing it, giving the ownership back to the trust installer. So you're going to, want to go to Advanced, go to Change. And in order to change it back to the trust installer, you actually can't just type in Trusted Installer. It actually says you can't find it. And this is the error you get if it can't find who you are. Um, you have to type in NT service backslash trusted installer and then check names and it should be underlined if it works uh, same thing goes for your name also but yeah and you want to click ok and it should recorrect it and so this is the new owner or sorry <laughs> this is not the owner so it should change the new owner uh, back to the trusted installer and as you can see in the principles, you have full control and the trust installer both has full control. And so you're going to want to apply, OK, and you're basically done. Now, what doing all of that has allowed you to do is allowed you to go back into the System32, right click on this, and just rename it. So it used to be just that, but just rename it to something numerical like 2. 
something easy. And just like that, um, you, all the programs that try to start this up uh, as a startup process in the background actually can't because it's going to be looking for Game Bar Presence Writer, but it can't find, like, this one's named 2, so it's not going to find it. So it will never run. And in that way, you don't delete any processes, but you also don't use them anyways, so. Yeah. So, and then after that, you just need to restart your computer here. And, well, I mean, obviously, everyone knows how to restart your computer. But basically, you just restart it, and you should be good to go. And that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you in the next one.